Hi, my name's Charles and I'm one of the maths teachers from the Maxim Workshop. I'm just going to now teach you how to do some math. I'm going to show you how to do long division with decimal numbers. Now, division and decimal numbers are by themselves tricky topics, but I'm going to try to bring together um, an easy way of dealing with both of them at the same time. Um, the first thing we'll do is write out our sum and what we're going to do here is we've got 72.4 divided by 1.1 okay now this is a simple um, division that we're going to do just to show you the techniques that we're going to use now what we're trying to do on the denominator is remove the decimal point okay so what we're going to do is bring the decimal point back here and then however many times it takes us to remove the decimal point from the, just the denominator that's how many times we move um, the denominator back on the top numerator so this has the equivalence of multiplying by 10 this has the equivalence of multiplying by 10 also now you haven't changed the fraction in terms of its weight but you've changed the actual um, numbers in the fraction so you've just basically um, changed the equivalent fraction so um, the first thing we're going to do is rub this out rub that out seven times 10 equals 724 divided by um, 1.1 times 10 and that equals um, 11. So you've converted um, your normal decimal fraction into a fraction, an equivalent fraction that has no decimals and then you can progress with your um, normal long division. So, we go to our tableau again. So we've got 724 divided by 11. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to establish how many times 11 goes into seven, and it doesn't. So, we put a zero above there. Now this number needs to be multiplied by um, 11 to go below here. So it would just give us zero. So we don't really need to worry about that. So now we need to see how many times 11 goes into 72, okay? So 11 goes into 72 um, six times to give you 66. And then we have a remainder of four and two, 